fantastic. All right, you guys, Michelle Greenwell and Dance Debut Inc. are celebrating 40 years in dance, Tai Chi, and the wellness industry, offering classes, workshops, conference presentations, and publications. There's something for everyone to be empowered in their well-being practice. Michelle has studied extensively with experts around the world in dance and wellness, and she holds a BA in psychology, MSc in complementary and alternative medicine, and is completing her doctorate in integrative health, specializing in the key tools from bioenergetics wellness that provide energy shifts for ease and flow to achieve desired intentions and goals. Michelle, thank you so much for leading us through this next wellness break. We just adore having you. I'll pass it to you. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. It's always wonderful to be with you. Um, welcome, everyone. And I know that you've been sitting a lot. Um, so what I'd like to do is get you active. I'm going to show you just a quick screen share here of, no, I'm not. It was there, and now it's not. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the chat instead afterwards. And so you don't have to worry about what I'm doing exactly, because there'll be a diagram to show you. We are going to do the five element wheel. So if you're not familiar with that, that comes from Chinese medicine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna follow these cards and I'm gonna do all the actions on them. And I'm gonna show you how you can energize yourself in just a few short minutes. So first of all, have you got a goal? We had goals today, but what I thought I would bring together for all of us is to empower, whoops, where am I? Easily and joyfully implement ideas from today's conference for abundant business and personal success. And I'm hoping that resonates with everyone. And so we need to assess what is the stress in our bodies around this goal. So what I'd like you to do, I'm just gonna step back, put your thumb out in front, and then follow your thumb, a little bit different than what we did with Cheryl this morning. You're just gonna follow around and see how far you can move uh, before you kind of get stuck. Okay, so see what that is. And then come back to the front and do the other side just to see how far you kind of go before you kind of get stuck. And it might be the same, might be different. And you're just noticing, okay? Then what I'd like you to notice now is uh, what you feel like when you touch your toes. So Jenny, I was doing that before, but I just want you to notice what does it feel like as you reach towards your toes. So where is the tension in your body as you go forward? Okay, so that's just a little bit of noticing. And then you have the monkey thoughts. What are the monkey thoughts that have been racing through your head? And we've talked a lot about what people think inside, the sabotaging things that go on, those repetitive things. Just think about some of those patterns that might have been running for you today as you were learning new things. So I'm going to start with the water element. I'm going to invite you to have a sip of water. Swish it around in your mouth so that your body knows you're getting some nourishment in there. And when we sip water, we have the opportunity to transform emotions from fear and anxiety over to confidence and peace. Just by having that sip of water. Okay, so let's add something to that. So we're going to go to the fire element, which is cross crawls. And what I'd like you to do is just take opposite hand to knee. And we're gonna do a big movement. So your shoulders and your hips are moving together. And now that you've got that, I want you to take that behind you and touch your hand to your foot behind. All right, it took a little challenge to get there. That's noticing that the back dimension might not have been working as you wanted. And now we're gonna to go to the side. Same thing, if there's a little glitch getting you to this, where you're going opposite hand to foot, that tells you the side dimension might have been shut off from all that sitting. Hopefully that brings it back to being engaged. Now, if you come back in front, you may just notice that that's just been made a little bit easier than it was before. In the fire element, we have the emotions of worry, sorrow, and hate. A lot of us are worried. We're entrepreneurs, we worry a lot about things. And this takes us over from uh, into love, joy, and calm. So now I take you to breathing. This is a place where we can shift, this is the metal element, from grief, guilt, regret, 
You know, a lot of us have that when we're in business. Lots of things we could have done better. I'm gonna go over to enthusiasm and letting go. So this comes from Tai Chi. I'm just standing with my feet shoulder width apart. My toes are straight forward. My knees are soft and relaxed. I'm just gonna get you push into your feet, let your arms float. And then let that come down. And you may notice your hips want to soften a little bit. Push into the feet. And let that go. And another one. And let that go. Beautiful. So when we talk about the breath, we have lots of ways that we can shift things, but now you know that leads you to enthusiasm and letting go. All right, so now we've got the wood element. We need to calm some emotions down. So we're just gonna put our fingertips on our forehead really lightly. And with that, we have the opportunity to go from anger and resentment to content and happiness. And as you stand there, if you're still standing, you may notice that your body softens a little bit. You may notice that you kind of go down into the center of the foot. Maybe you go back into your heel. And you just may notice that being upright just feels kind of loose. And all of a sudden your body will just shift and you'll move somewhere. I'm going forward. And that tells you you have those points, emotional stress for these points, long enough. Okay. That's called the body pendulum where you use muscle monitoring there. And our last one is the earth element, the sea of tranquility. So if you take your hands across, your fingertips are going to go just below the collarbone on the lung alarm point. This is another great way to connect to the breath. And with this one, we shift envy and criticism to empathy and sympathy. And when we're empathetic and sympathetic, it doesn't mean we have to take it in. It means we find a way for us to take compassionate action. And as we've talked about today, about the way we've been doing sales, and we market ourselves, this is the way for you to compassionately reach out with your business because you do solve a problem. And as you hold that spot, take a nice deep breath in. And let that go. Beautiful, and one more breath in. Feeling like everybody needs a big sigh right there. And let that go. And as you take your hands down, I'm just going to invite you to shake everything out a little bit. Jenny started it before, but what I'm going to invite you to do is just move through the space, maybe your hips, your feet, and just see how that feels. And then when you're ready, take that thumb back up, turning to the side, see if you can move a little bit differently than when you started. Okay, and then try the other side to see if it matches. Okay, for those that I can see on the camera, everybody have a thumb up for how far they could see. Amazing, I was like all the way around the back. Fantastic, okay, now go down and try to touch your toes. Just notice what it feels like. And again, it's not about reaching the toes, it's about what does it feel like. So did that change? Did things in your back release itself so you're not noticing it? And those monkey thoughts you had before, they may have just gone like this and disappeared. If everything's complete, put your hands here, just standing on your feet. If it's complete, you're just gonna sink down into your feet. If it's not complete, you might wobble a bit and you could just go back and do some of those activities while you're listening to the next speaker. But if you sink down into your feet, that means you are now congruent with our goal. And our goal, once again, easily and joyfully implement ideas from today's conference for abundant business and personal success. Yes. And I will put a copy of the cards into the chat. Thank you, everyone.